Hello, I'm Warren Tidwell, 2016-2017 Freedom From Religion Foundation Sponsored Volunteer of the Humanist Service Corps. After a month of training in Tamale, Ghana, we have arrived at our home in Bimbala, where we will be living for the next 11 months. It has taken a while to get settled in, but we are now making plans with local women's rights organization, Songtaba. Songtaba works with women and children through a variety of programs. Among these programs is a program of reintegration or a program that helps women who have been accused of witchcraft and banished from their village return home. I have been chosen to work on that reintegration team. Just this week, we have visited with local chiefs and family members of the accused in an effort to mediate their return home. It is a very sensitive and complex process that requires a great deal of diplomacy. I look forward to sharing our stories through future video logs and giving you much more information on this process. At this time, my fellow volunteers are working on agricultural and educational programs to benefit school children and local farmers. And while we have just gotten started, I am pleased to say we are seeing some tangible results. Volunteers George Gold and Luke Mondomba have devised a way to take GPS mapping of local farms and create a database that will allow local farmers to search through the soil health and soil content of the local regions in an effort to understand their farms better, employ better strategies, and be able to have better crop yields. As for that, uh, volunteers Jude Lane and Baco Allison have helped me construct a garden and build a fence around it. My hope is that very soon we will be growing our own tomatoes, onions, carrots, okra, or okro as it's pronounced here, and green peppers. I think it will be of a great benefit to our diet as well as help us keep our food costs down. We've spent a great deal of time here lately getting to know the locals and I think that is vitally important to build those relationships to ensure we do have a successful year here in Bimble. When it comes to meeting Ghanaians, it's very easy. They're very friendly, very pleasant, and they're always there when we need help. It has made the transition so much easier. And what can I say about the experience except it has been amazing. Ghana has such a lively and vibrant culture and the people here consider you a friend from your first interaction. There are a number of things about the Ghanaian culture that I do appreciate, but I feel like that's probably near the top. Being white in a predominantly black country does bring its own set of challenges, both internally and externally. Although I have been treated with nothing but kindness, I do stand out, especially to the children here. There is a re word in the Northern region for white person, Silamenga. It's not meant as an offense, and I do hear it everywhere I go, especially the children who are calling to me from the roadside as I ride my bicycle through town. I have become known as the white man in the hat because I am the only one and I wear this hat every day. It's the rainy season here, and uh, I hear it starting up. The year one volunteers constructed a way to divert the rainwater from the roof to our holding tank. And I think I better go open that hatch so we can catch some of this water. Again, thank you so much to the Freedom From Religion Foundation for the sponsorship. That's it for me, and I look forward to sharing so much more in future video logs. Thank you.